Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Jessica, thanks for tuning in today. Here are my creepy hands waving. I'm wearing this pretty periwinkle uh, nail polish. I'll leave it in the description box what color it is. I am off screen today, which means I didn't have to do my makeup and hair on a Sunday. I mean, have to. I, really, I enjoy doing that, but I'm being lazy today and we're gonna do my makeup inventory, finally! We're gonna go through all of the categories in my makeup collection and update you on all the numbers, what has come in, what has gone out, and it should be really fun to share everything with you. So I love these videos. I'm sure that you are here because you love them as well. So go ahead and enjoy snooping in on all of my makeup. I'm just gonna go ahead and stay with the same categories that I used in December of 2020. I'll of course link my 2020 inventory video in the cards. So check that out if you haven't seen it. I'm just gonna stick with the same categories I used for that video, even though they're a little weird, a little wonky, but it doesn't really matter in the end. We're just counting makeup items. So let's go ahead and get started. First category is primers, and I only have one primer right now. I am amazed at myself. So I had five in my collection last year. Uh, so I've been able to use up all five of those primers, which is the main reason that I love Project Painting is I really get through things. And I've only brought in one new primer. And this one is the Poreless Putty Primer from e.l.f. And I'm not a huge fan. It doesn't really fill my pores as much as I would like it to. It's like got a kind of pleasant smoothing effect. It actually, it's quite moisturizing for being a pore primer. I will use it up. I'm on the lookout for another primer like this to try. I have my eye on the Tarte primer that's similar to this. So if you've tried that one, let me know. There's also one from, I think, Revlon that's really popular, but it's out of stock on Ulta. So anyways, uh, this is the only one, one primer. That's awesome. The next category are my foundations. And I also did really well in my foundations this year. I did not purchase a single new foundation. These were all in my collection last year. Last year I had five foundations. I was able to go through two of those. One was my uh, L'Oreal Infallible, I think. No, yeah, it was one of the L'Oreal foundations that I used up in my project pan. And then I had a sample size of that CC concealer so i used up both of those and what i have left is my physician's formula which is almost empty i'm painting that right now it should be gone in a month or maybe two and then i'm going to pan this next the l'oreal infallible pro glow and this one is relative it's definitely the newest in my collection so yeah we have three foundations right now and i'll be excited to maybe once i'm getting low on this bring in a new foundation and try something new it's been a while for me so yeah, last year I had five, and this year I have three foundations. Here are the concealers in my collection right now. Last year I had six concealers. I was able to use up one of those, but I actually replaced it with this one. This is actually the color corrector that I like to use. This one from Pixie is great. I had the Benefit one before, um, but I like this one just as much. I kind of want to splurge and try the Charlotte Tilbury or the Bobbi Brown but this one's like $12, so it's hard for me to excuse that purchase. This one I'm also panning. It should be gone in a couple months. I'm not gonna show you, so I'll leave that for my Project Pan video. This concealer is probably about halfway gone, and then this is my newest concealer. So I anticipate needing to buy another concealer pretty soon once these ones are getting low or used up. Down by two in this category as well, so that's great. Here are my loose powders. Last year I had three and this year I have four. So I did go up in this category. However, I didn't purchase any of these additions to my collection. This one was in my collection last year and I'm almost done with it. It'll be gone in a few uses, I think. It is so low. So that's about to be gone. This one was gifted to me. It's brand new, unopened. Someone was getting rid of it. And um, I was happy to come up on that because I do love this powder and it'll last me forever. This one was also, I think same person was getting rid of this one. It's just a translucent powder. So um, I also have the RCMA powder. These kind of like are the same use, but you know, a powder, a free powder is a free powder. So I went ahead and took it from someone who wasn't gonna use it and I will definitely use it. So yeah, we have one more, but this one's on the way out. And again, these two were free. So again, no purchases in that category, which is awesome. Kicking butt over here. This is kind of a weird category, but I'll call this my finishing powder category. So I have two of these ambient lighting powders from Hourglass. I have the shade Dim Light and Diffuse Light. They're actually both in different projects I'm doing right now. And this one is new in my collection this year. This one is the Mineral Veil from 
<laughs> what's it called? Bare Essentials? No. Bare Minerals, duh. <laughs> the Mineral Veil from Bare Minerals. This was another one that my friend was getting rid of and I remember really liking this product back in the day. So I wanna try using this again, maybe under the eye as a brightener once I'm done with one of these in my project. So yeah, another one that increased, but again, no money was spent. These are my pressed powders in my collection and last year I had four, this year I'm down to three. Another decrease, yay. This one I am painting right now, it is so low. I expect to have this used up in a couple months. Uh, this one was brand new in my collection last time and I still haven't even used it because I've been trying to go through other powders. And this one is new. I'm excited to try this. It came recommended and it has really pretty packaging. Hello. <laughs> I did use up in this last year two powders, the It Cosmetics and Celebration Foundation Illumination, something like that, and then the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. What is with powders in these crazy names? Yeah, this one is called the Conceal and Define from Makeup Revolution, and this is the Lift and Illuminate Triple Action Finishing Powder from number seven, and of course, my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin in the shade Y235, which I love, and I have, I think, the shade Medium in both of these. All right, so again, we're down by one, hooray! These are the bronzers currently in my collection. I have six and I had six last year. So at least I didn't go up in this category. These two were brand new last year and they're still brand new. They, I don't know, I love that formula, but I've really been trying to use these older bronzers. So hopefully those will get some love soon as well. I plan on busting one of them out once this one is out the door, which is so soon. This one will be out the door pretty soon. It, in a couple months most. This one's from Pure. The packaging is broken and it's so similar to this Tarte one in um, Park Avenue Princess. I really like shimmery bronzers, so I've been keeping them both around. This one is from Hourglass. I hit pan on that this year and I'm so glad I did. I just, I'm sorry, I said a bad word. I love, freaking love that bronzer. So yeah, we're at six, but I really like bronzer. It's a category I really enjoy, so I'm okay with having six. I'm happy that I at least didn't gain any bronzers. That's a win. I still have one liquid bronzer. Last year I had two and I decluttered one of them. It just had gone bad. So this one I would like to use this year a little bit. We'll see how it goes. I said that last year, <laughs> but I feel like there is a place that I could use this. So we're gonna keep it around. It still works well. It's pretty sheer, so it kind of like goes a long way and you can definitely layer it. It's hard to go overboard with this one, which is always nice with this kind of product. This is from a boxy charm. I didn't purchase this, but I would like to get some use on it before it goes bad completely. So we're gonna leave this one in my collection. In a similar vein, we have these liquid highlighters. This is the same brand, but in their like illuminating formula the liquid glow from temp do x they're both boxy charm items like i said and um that one as well i think can mix in with lotions i could definitely get some use on that i also have this very glittery one <laughs> the glitter drops from cover fx uh, also from a boxy charm i did use three liquid highlighters last year so that's awesome i went from five of these down to two and that is pretty i'm super happy about that that was my goal was just to get through those items get them out of my collection and they weren't wasted they actually served their life's purpose of shimmering out my body so good for them these are my face palettes i went from three face palettes down to two i have this elf cream contour palette that i'm not going to show you because it's part of my project pan and i also have my tartise pro glow this is the original pro glow with the um, bronzers and highlighters so yeah i will be also trying to use some of that this year i used up completely my NYX contour palette in 2021. That's pretty cool. These are what I call my blush palettes. I have four and last year I also had the same exact four. So nothing new in that category either. This one, it could be a face palette as well, but I just keep with my blushes. I don't need any more explanation than that. I have this Tarte palette that I love. I would like to get more use on that. I just have so many blushes in my collection. This one's a great one. It has quite a great variety of shades and I'm getting really close to pan in this shade. I'd love to hit pan in one of them. This is a blush palette from Hourglass. I'm a huge fan of Hourglass blushes. So one of my favorites, I've had that for a long time. And then this is the e.l.f. blush palette, which is pretty, pretty good quality for the price. And I just can't bear myself to part with it because 
it has some really pretty shades in it. I especially love this shade. It's just like pretty unique in my collection. Kind of like an apricot-y matte. Four and four, no new. That's good. These are all of my individual blushes, probably my favorite category of makeup in my collection. Last year I had 17 blushes, individual blushes, and this year I am up to 19. So we did go up in this category, but for being my favorite category, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with adding two more to my collection because I do use these and enjoy all of them. I have my one cream blush here. This is the Alouette Face Paint. It's a lip and cheek tint, so you really can use it on your lips or your cheek, uh, like I said, this is in the name. This is actually in my deck of panning project right now, and I'm enjoying getting some use on that. I've got to use it a hundred times, so hopefully I'm enjoying it. I have three of the Hourglass blushes. I am obsessed with the Hourglass blushes. They are some of my favorite formulas. I have Diffused Heat, Radiant Magenta, and I also have Mood Exposure. And if I was feeling weak in the moment, I would probably buy another one as well, but I really don't need another blush, as you can tell. I have two loose blushes, one from Bare Minerals. This is the shade Thistle, and I've had this shade forever, but I love it. I think it is such a beautiful color on my cheeks. Like there's something about it. It's just super flattering on my skin and it has a nice sheen to it. I've had this for years and years, but I still really enjoy it, so it's sticking around. This one came from a BoxyCharm, it's from Studio Makeup, and it's like a really pretty like matte peachy color. This one definitely doesn't get a ton of use in my collection, but it's a nice blush, so I've been keeping it around. This is also from a BoxyCharm, this is from the Note brand, and I really, really enjoy this color. It's like a nice apricot terracotta shade, gotten some good use on that. The Note imprint is almost worn away. I have two from Milani. This is the this is one of their rose blushes in Coral Cove. And I really like this shade. It's pretty unique in my collection. And these rose blushes are just so beautiful and fun to use. I also have this blush from Milani. This is Coral Harmony. No, sorry, Color Harmony in the shade Coral Beam. So another coral shade. And it has like a highlighter built in. And when this is all swirled together, it has a nice glowy coral look on the cheeks. And this is probably one of my least favorite blushes just because of the way it's arranged. I don't love that you have to mix it up together, but you know, I want to get some use on it while it's still good and happy. This is my Milani Luminoso, a classic. This is the original formula and I'm actually getting some good use on this. The dome in here is pretty flat, so it's gotten a lot of love. I love, love, love this blush. It's one of my favorites in my collection. So yeah, that one's great. I have three little minis here. This is the NARS Mini um, Gulu or Goule or something like that. I don't know. It was the freebie from NARS when you become a VIB Rouge when I was one a long, long time ago. It's nice. I love a mini blush. These are two new blushes in my collection. This is from The Balm. It's a sample in the shade Bare Minimum, and I love this shade. It's really neutral and easy to wear. I've gotten quite a bit of use on it, especially for travel. And then I have this mini from Tarte, which is just so small and adorable and it's a really pretty shade as well this um it's a little cover on there that's a really pretty kind of like shimmering pink really easy to wear really pretty really like it this is called kisses these were both handed down to me from that same friend who you know loves to get those subscription boxes and dole them out to her friends this one is from Pretty Vulgar, and it's in the shade Make Them Blush. This was also from a BoxyCharm. I really like this shade. It's a nice matte um, mauve tone blush. I use that one quite a bit. And then over here, I have this shade from NYX that has been depotted a long, long time ago. And I love this shade just for its uniqueness. I use this a lot for costume makeup. And anytime I want a bright orange cheek, I have it available here for me. I have two from Makeup Geek. These also both came from BoxyCharm. This is the shade Chivalry, and it's a really kind of browny toned blush, which is, again, unique to my collection. I really enjoy that. And then this one in the shade XOXO, and this is like a really hot pink blush, and I love this shade. It looks really pretty on the cheeks. I know it looks kind of intense, but uh, just a little bit goes a long way, and I think it looks beautiful on my skin. And this is my only purchase of blush for the past year. This is the Cover FX blush. This one's the shade Sweet Mulberry. And I was so excited to try this formula. It's gotten rave reviews. I just don't think I made the right color choice. I really wanted a kind of purple 
plummy blush in my collection because I don't have one like that. But I have found that it's kind of difficult to use. Maybe it's just so pigmented. This side, the shimmery side, is definitely easier to use than the matte. So I'm still playing with this, trying to figure out how I like it. I kind of wish I'd gotten a different shade just to enjoy that formula a little bit more. However, I wanted to add variety to my collection. And I got this at the um, 21 Days of Beauty sale for half off. So I only spent like 20, less than $20 on it. And that is my only blush purchase from the past year. And I forgot to mention my Too Faced blush. This is one of their Sweethearts Perfect Flush Blush. And this is the shade Candy Glow. And this one I've had for a long time. I don't use it a ton, but it's pretty sheer. And I like having a blush like that to either go over a matte blush, kind of uses like a blushy highlight. And it's just very subtle and easy to wear. And this packaging is just so adorable. I love looking at it. It makes me happy. So yes, we did go up by two blushes this year. I did use up an entire blush in 2021. I used up the sample size of the Tarte Party blush. And we brought in one, two, three new blushes and everything else is the same from last year. These are the highlighters I have in my collection. Right now I have six and it's the same six highlighters that I had last year. We have the Vintage by Jessica Liebeskin highlighters. These have two shades in them, this like pinky shade and then this more like neutral shade. And these are really great highlighters. I've gotten some good use on them over the years and kind of are different from other shades in my collection. This is the Ofra Rodeo Drive highlighter. One of my sparkliest, most shimmeriest, most beautiful highlighters. So I really, really love having that one in my collection. This is the Essence Pure Nude. It's quite a subtle highlight. So I like having it in my collection for that purpose when I just want like maybe a really light, you know, everyday highlight. And yeah, it's okay. You know, I don't think I love it as much as other people rave about it, but it is nice to have that option if I want it. And of course, it's about $4, so you really can't go wrong with having that in your collection. I mean, if you're looking for something like that. I have three of the Becca highlighters still. This is Opal. This is my only highlighter that I have with a pan in it. It's a proud, proud thing for a woman like me. I do love the Becca formula. We all know it has been raved about for years and years. And it still performs, I think. This is the Champagne Pop shade. This one's also got a good amount of use on it. Nowhere near pan, but you can see there's some usage there. And then I also have Prosecco Pop. This one came in a boxy charm. But I was happy to have it. Happy to have it in my collection. This one is very, very similar to Rodeo Drive. I've swatched them next to each other a few times and they are almost exactly the same, but Rodeo Drive is much more sparkly than Prosecco Pop. But yeah, I'm happy with having six highlighters. I definitely don't use highlighters every day. I'm not bringing any more highlighters into my collection, but I do enjoy and use all six of these. So they're gonna stick around for now. In. These are my pencil eyeliners. I have six right now and last year I had 10 So I actually just decluttered quite a few of them went through and checked if they were still You know quality and some of them did not make the cut and just some were better than others So I would pick the better one. So yeah, I got rid of four. That's awesome I have two black ones still this one's still in the packaging still same from the last inventory um, <laughs> Don't question my logic. I don't I don't understand it either. I have a brown one I have a like olive green and nude and a blue. So I'd like to get more use on these two for sure. But these other ones, you know, are just like staples. And yeah, I think six is a good number. Happy with that. Oh, really? Oh, oh. These are my liquid liners. These are definitely going to be cycling out soon as well. They're all pretty old. I don't know how I ended up with four liquid eyeliners at the same time. I'm normally better than that about that. I think I just like cling to them too long. Even though they're pretty much dried out, if I can get like a little bit of product out, I try and make it work. And you know, most of the time, depending on how long they've been sitting and soaking, sometimes it works. So I still have the same sample of the Kat Von D Epic Ink Liner. That one's definitely getting pretty low. This Physician's Formula one is pretty new, but it already feels like it's kind of drying out a little bit. That one gets really good reviews, but I don't know. I wasn't that impressed. This one's from LA Girl. Uh, it's okay. It's getting pretty low as well. And this one's from Ico. And I swear these jumbo ones last for freaking ever. So I really like them. I've had it for a while, but it's still working, but also getting low. So I have four now, but I expect I will have, you know, a reasonable amount quite soon. I shouldn't have more than one or two at a time. Uh, yeah, and last year I had four as well. So at least that stayed the same. 
I had two gel liners last year and I have two again this year, the same two. This is from ColourPop. It's in that like teal shade called Fast Lane. And I would love to get some use on this. I don't think I've used it at all in the whole year. So I don't wanna get rid of it yet. It's still creamy, it's not dried out. So I'm gonna try and use it. And then this one's from Free Vulgar. This is from a boxy charm. I love the packaging on this, it's so cute. And this one's pretty messy. You could not make a wing out of this, don't even try. But I love it for just like blacking out the whole eye. It's great for like costume makeup and I have gotten use on it through those methods. So yes, again, same two. That's a win in my book. These are my, my mascaras. This is the mascara I'm using right now. It's it's not it's not really anything to rave about. It's the last sensational. It's my first time trying it. Not a huge fan, will not repurchase. This one's in the lineup to be used next. This is the Essence Volume Stylist 18 hour. I like Essence mascaras typically and they're so affordable. And this is the Colossal Waterproof from Maybelline. And I really liked the regular Colossal formula, so I thought I would try this for my trip to Maui as my waterproof mascara option and it was very smudgy. So like the original formula, don't like the waterproof. I like actually probably should declutter this, but I like to have a waterproof mascara on hand, even if it's a smudging one, uh, just in case. So I'll keep that until it dries up and then we'll not repurchase that waterproof formula. And last year I had five mascaras, so we're down two, awesome. This is my mascara accessories, which is like the silliest category ever. I don't know why I made up that category. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Base. So you like put this on underneath the mascara to plump them up. And I tried it yesterday and it's still good and it did plump up my lashes. So I decided to keep it around for a little bit and I'm gonna try and get, get some use on this. So last year I had two and this year I have one mascara accessory, which is the silliest term ever. I got rid of the, um, I got rid of the Too Faced waterproof melting stuff. Hi, butter. <laughs> if I don't wear waterproof mascara, I don't need a waterproof mascara melter. Makes sense, right? <coughs> Thank you. <coughs> I know. Okay, you have to go outside then, I guess, because it would be very annoying until you do them. These are my brow products, and we're down from three to two. So I got rid of my Benefit Cabrow. I have still the It Brow Power, which I've gone through two of these before. I do like this, but this one's been sitting around for a while. It needs to get some use. I actually think I got that for free as well somehow. And then I have this Chella Tantalizing Taupe Eyebrow Cream, which also came from a BoxyCharm. So um, no purchased new eyebrow products here and went down one product. That's good. Brow gel is another area where I decreased this year. I went from three brow gels just to one. I just got this NYX tinted brow mascara and I really like it. It has a good hold, it has a good tint. The brush is a little big, but it works well enough and it really does plump up your brow. So I'm happy with this purchase. I was using the Benefit Cabrow for, not the brow, Gimme Brow, something like that for a long time. I really liked it, but um, this is a good dupe or not really a dupe, but it's a good replacement for me. For setting spray, I have one, and it is the same type, but not the same setting spray. I used up the one I had from last year and repurchased the um, same one, and I really like it. This is a good a good setting spray at the drugstore. It was like $10 for this bottle, and it's a pretty big bottle. I went from one to one in the same, the same one. Just one. These are my lip liners and I just went through and decluttered a few of them. I went from 18 last year down to 15. You can tell I really like the ColourPop formula. I also enjoy the NYX. It's pretty dry, but it lasts a long time. I also love these ones from Wet n Wild. So yeah, I have 15, which seems like a lot, but I am going through them. I'm panning this one right now. I'm gonna pan this one. Um, this one will also go pretty quick. But the other ones, you know, I just, I really like wearing them, even just in replacement of a lipstick sometimes, like as my lipstick. They last a long time, especially when you're wearing masks, so. Yeah, I'm happy with having 15. I'm glad, I, I'm proud of myself for getting rid of just those three. These are the lip glosses I have right now. I do have two new lip glosses in my collection. This one was a gift for Christmas and I've been wanting to try the Fenty lip glosses for a long time. So I really enjoy having that. And this is the new L'Oreal Infallible Plumping Gloss. So I wanted to give that a try. Uh, this one is just about to be out the door. It's getting really, really low. And um, these other three, I planned to get, I planned to like try and get some good use on this one this year. And you know, this one as well, since it's getting old. So yeah, we went from having six lip glosses to six. So not the exact same six, but at least we kept the number the same. 
These are all of my lipsticks. I am a huge lipstick lover, so I actually have my lipsticks split into three different categories. These are my bullet lipsticks, and I also have a few like lip pencils in here, but they fit well enough. I use them in the same way. So I have all of my high end kind of up here and then my drugstore down here. I have a few from Bite. This one is just about to be done. So that'll be out of my collection soon. And the Bite products do go bad pretty quickly. So you, I really wanna focus on both of these in the next year before I lose out on them. I have two from Lancome, which were uh, gifted to me. This one is from Urban Decay. This one was also gifted to me. Uh, I think this is a drugstore brand. It's from Pop. Yeah, Pop Beauty. That should be down there. But it's a, it's a red. I think I got that in a boxy charm. Uh, I have one from Mac. Another boxy charm from Buxom was a gift. Another from Buxom. I think that was like a sample. I have this from Urban Decay. Rocksteady. I think this was passed down to me from a friend. I have the NARS lip pencil. This was a birthday gift. Three from ColourPop. My favorite being the Elsa one from the Frozen 2 collection. That was a gift from a friend. I have one from CoverGirl, one from Essence. I have two from Maybelline. I love Maybelline's lipsticks. I have one from Wet n Wild, which needs to get needs to get used, needs to go. Uh, one from Rimmel, and this is like a little one from Honest Beauty that I got in Influencer. So we went from 25 bullet lipsticks last year down to 22. I did just declutter a couple of them that we just like smelled a little off or were, were a little bit redundant in my collection. I definitely do have multiple hot pinks in my collection and I can't get myself to get rid of any of them. So there you go. That's what happens when you are in love with lipstick and hey, hot pink looks good on me. So I'm keeping them. These are all of my cream lipsticks. I have eight right now and last year I had 11, so we're down three. These are all definitely getting old, especially these ones. So I would love to get a little bit more use on them in the next year before I get rid of them. I really enjoy the formula of these and these are also some of my favorite drugstore formulas as well. So I really enjoy this type of lipstick that just kind of like doesn't quite set down but has a little bit more lasting power than a cream lipstick. I'm sorry, than a bullet lipstick, I find. I love all of these, I really do. I would repurchase these, I would repurchase more shades of that, and they don't make these anymore, so can't repurchase those. So at least we are down three, and these should be going pretty soon as well. If you see them in my inventory next year, um, you know, we have a problem. Not all of them, just those L'Oreal's. Okay. These are my liquid lipsticks, and I can't believe I still have this many liquid lipsticks. You know, the liquid lipstick craze has been over and gone for quite a few years, but I still find use for them. And these, some of these are definitely hanging on by a thread. They're getting pretty old, but I did go through and test all of them, smelt them all. They're all, they all seem to be hanging in there. I'll probably be dead in the next year for sure. But I did go down five liquid lipsticks just from decluttering the, basically the expired ones. We went from 32 down to 27. These ones are definitely on their last legs. These ones, the formula still feels pretty good, but I know they're, they're probably as old as some of these. These are still great. Everything down here is still pretty good. Is it still great? And um, this Joseph Color one is still good. So 15 here. So if we can, you know, get a few more uses on those, get those weeded down, then we could definitely will be going down in this category as well in the next year. But five less is, you know, pretty good. I'm happy with that. And again, I just love lipstick. So having a lot of it in my collection is not a bad thing necessarily. I have two eyeshadow primers in my collection currently, and last year I had three. I still have this Milani eyeshadow primer. It's getting pretty low. I would like to use that up this year. I also still have my NYX glitter primer, which I love. It's actually almost gone, so I need to repurchase that. I use that every single day that I wear eyeshadow. Normal eyeshadow primer, not so much. I really just use eyeshadow primer for my shimmers. I really loved my Ulta eyeshadow primer, but something happened to the formula in the last year and it's completely gone bad. So I had to toss that one. So we have two still and I'll probably be done with both of these by the end of this year. These are my single potted eyeshadows. I have three from the L'Oreal Infallible Color Riche line. I think that's what it's called. L'Oreal Infallible Pigments, really. I have three of those and then seven of the Super Shock shadows. I'm down from last year. I had 13 last year and I'm down to 10.
These are my loose pigments and I still have the same two. I just can't bring myself to get rid of them. They're so pretty. This is the Kaylin Eye Polish and this is the, what's this one called? Your Minerals? I don't know. Never heard of either of these brands, but they have beautiful pigments and they are very um, just neutral shades. So I really, 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 really should wear these. But yeah, from two to two. And I think these were both like part of subscription boxes as well or passed down. Here we have the shadow pencils. Again, the same four from last year. I have these three NYX jumbo pencils. And um, again, I just can't get myself to get rid of these. I feel like someday I'm gonna wanna use them. I definitely use the white one, but the other two, not so much. And this one's from Laura Mercier in the shade Rose Gold and another really pretty shade that I should wear. Here are all of my glitter shadows, like cream glitters. Um, they're kind of lumped together awkwardly, but this is what makes sense to me. I have this ColourPop glitter um, from the Frozen collection that again was part of that gift from my friend. I actually really, really like that glitter. I have one more Stila glitter that's hanging on for dear life. It's still the only one, it's the only one that's still good. So I got rid of the other ones. This one from Cover FX, another um, boxy charm item, but beautiful like pinky purple shade. I have two of these from e.l.f., one in like the silver and one in like that rainbow holographic glitter. These are great dupes for the Stila, but they dry it. They do dry out kind of fast and they're not quite as chunky, I think. And then this one from ColourPop is just all these like glitter toppers or, you know, like pressed glitters. So I just went ahead and put them in with here. I'm gonna count it as six. I'm just gonna count this as one since it's one piece of packaging. And with that count, we went from eight glitter shadows down to six. Right, these are my loose glitters. So I have one new loose glitter from NYX. It's again a holographic glitter. Just you have to have one of those, you know, in your collection. And then I have three others, the blue, red, and bronze color, and then this green from Ben Nye. And I'm happy with my loose glitters. They definitely come in handy when you need a glitter, which, you know, when do you not need a glitter? These are a completely new addition to my makeup collection. These are Hydra Liners from Suva Beauty. These are both the UVs. I have this like split pan, the pink and orange, and the blue and yellow, and the white Hydra Liner. And this is just like a really fun trend that really ups your eyeshadow game. So I've really been enjoying playing with those. They're a lot, a lot of fun, and super happy to have those in my collection. So last year I had zero, now I have three, and uh oh, I might buy more. I might. <laughs> I wanna get one of those palettes. These are my single eyeshadows that I have all in a Z palette. There's a lot of random mix in here. Some from ColourPop, some from Makeup Geek, some from Ofra. Uh, yeah, lots of randoms. And then I also have a few Sugar Pills. This one, this one, and this one are from Sugar Pill. And then these are my only two new single shadows that I purchased this year. This is Perry and Winkle from Give Me Glow Cosmetics, and they were a very happy addition to my Z palette. I'm pretty happy with the number of singles I have. These definitely could get more use in my collection, but they're pretty curated. Maybe there's like one shade, this one here, that I could probably get rid of. But other than that, I'm pretty happy with the amount of singles I have. And I want to make sure they get some more use. So they might get rolled into my Panda's Eyeshadows project. So last year I had 22 single shadows, and this year I'm down to 20. This is a new category in my inventory. These are my mini palettes. I had them all grouped together last time, but I decided to separate them out. So everything that has six or fewer shades is now in my mini palette category. So I have one from L'Oreal, this little color Riche palette, I believe is called in the shade Azure. I have one from Viseart. This is the Theory palette in Amethyst, their purple palette. I have this Tartiste Pro To Go palette that I've had for a long time, really like it. This is the Elf Jalapeno palette. These are two little quintets from ColourPop from, I forget what line it was, but this is High Society and this is Rumor Has It. Really love those shades. They are quite unique in my collection. Another little quad from ColourPop. This is the shade um, Sorbet. And then this is the Hello Kitty Pineapple Cake palette, which is from their Hello Kitty collection, obviously. And it's all yellow shades. And I've been enjoying these little mini palettes. I think they're so cute and sweet. So yeah, happy with eight. Okay, and here are my eyeshadow palettes. Anything bigger than six shades is right here in front of you. You know, I'm not gonna compare to last year because again, I changed the numbers. So we have 24 eyeshadow palettes right now, which is quite a few, I know, but you know, they're so fun to play with. So at least I'm getting use on them in all of my Panda's eyeshadows projects. I do have a few new ones. I just have to point to them because I'm standing up right now holding my camera. So I have over here, there we go, my Huda Beauty Mercury Retrograde, that's new. 
this banana, what's it called? Proof is in the Puddin eyeshadow palette from Beauty Bakery, was gifted to me, handed down. I have my Gimme Glow Pastel Dreams palette. That's new for my last inventory. Obsessed, love it, so pretty, worth it every penny. And then I think that is it, yeah. So three new palettes there. Everything else is the same from last year. Wait, oh no, maybe my The Child palette. I think that's new as well. So yeah, anyways, I have my Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette here, the Lorac Mega Pro 2, which I just love. I can't get rid of it. The Vice 4 has some pretty cool shades, so I hold on to it for that reason. My Shade and Light Eye palette, I recently fell in love with again. I have my Take Me Back to Brazil, which has lots of fun, colorful shades. Natasha Denona Bronze Palette, love. The Too Faced Sweet Peach, another one of my favorites. The Too Faced Chocolate Gold, also love. The Alamar Cosmetics um, Reina del Caribe Palette is great. Makeup Geek Mario Palette, I would like to use that more. That was a gift. The Ciate Glitterstorm Palette, I love. Shan XO Remix, another one of my favorites. Jackie Ina, love. Sultry, love. Soft Glam, eh. <laughs> it's okay. Modern Renaissance, painting that one this year. We have the ColourPop She's a Rainbow palette. We have so many fun, colorful shades. The Femme Rosa palette from the um, ColourPop, the She Femme Rosa. Uh, I have the, the Child palette, which is beautiful. Love the Elsa palette. This Pastel Dreams is just rainbow pastel goodness. Hurry Beauty, Murky Retrograde, I had been lusting over forever. This Kitten palette is actually quite nice. And then the Proof is in the Puddin' is just a bunch of neutrals that... You know, I was kind of like, I adopted that one. It needed a home, so I figured I might as well give it some use. Uh, yeah, you can tell I really love eyeshadows. <laughs> it's one of my favorite things to play with, and I am should be good on buying eyeshadow palettes. I'm going to try not to buy any this year. We'll see how that goes. We're going to film my outro with this beautiful background. So I ended 2020 with 273 items, and I'm starting this year with 240 items. So I was able to declutter, use up, get rid of 33 items in the past about 13 months. So I think that is awesome. My goal was 50, so I didn't quite reach my goal, but hey, I'm pretty darn close, and there's a lot of items that are on their way out, and I don't intend to bring any in anytime soon. So yay, it is a success in my book. Thank you so much for watching my makeup inventory video today. I really hope you enjoyed it and seeing all of my makeup items and counting them along with me. I love sharing my inventory with all of you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you liked my video and want to see more from me. I'm doing lots of projects this year, using up a lot of the makeup that you've seen today. I hope you're doing well out there and I wish you a happy, happy rest of your day. See you later. Bye.